Legendary Dark Knight's Sparda had two sons. One of them was good and innocent, the other was evil and mean. There's no need for me to tell you which is which. Anyone who wears red is always the evil one. Our poor little Virgil was shy and always quiet. He loved reading books and he would never hurt a fly. While Dante was a brat who kept harassing his brother, he'd burn his books and would try to make him upset. One day, Sparda's friends from work attacked their house and the twins were separated. Their mother, who never loved our little Virgil, left him there to die and decided to save Dante instead. Many years passed. Dante had opened a brothel now and became a prostitute as he'd never wear any shirt, would love to get penetrated, and he didn't care about his hygiene. His customers would do such harsh things to him that you might think even a devil may cry. He was so good at his job that even the earth had a hard on. Oh right, this is the Temeni group, an ancient tower with the power to open a gateway to the raccoon city. And who was on top of the tower? Virgil was back to save his brother from this terrible and sad life he had. He even sent him an invitation to a party so they can bury the hatchets, but Dante being Dante killed all the inviters ruthlessly. His bloodlust wasn't satisfied, so he went inside and killed Virgil's cute three-headed puppy, Inter's nameless king, sorry, nameless baddie. As a force of habit, the evil brother started riding a big rocket to impress her, simp. Nameless baddie reached the top of the tower to solve her daddy issues with Arkham. Side note, this whole franchise is a big daddy issues, Dante and Virgil, Nero, Lady, Kyrie, Nico, and even Trish if we consider Mundus as her father. If it was up to me, I'd name this game Daddy May Issues. Anyway, Dante being a pervert caught Lady by the ankle, but if you thought this was a good gesture, you're wrong. He did it so he can molest her later, but she said, nah uh He then reached his brother's bodyguards and killed them too. Virgil was like, yo chill, I just invited you to a party. Why are you keep killing everyone you see, and why do you keep making weapons out of them? But Dante being a shitty brother, kept nagging about how there's no drink or food or girl there. So they started to fight. This iconic battle would soon be known as the battle of Virgil and Virgin. Dante got penetrated again and came like a fountain. Virgil said, I am the storm, not you, don't try to act like it, and left him there. Dante started chasing him and confronted another baddie. He didn't know how to treat a woman and was in dire need of an electric guitar that shoots bats. You know, like how all of us did at some point. So he made her into one. Then the brothers confronted each other again, and while Virgil kept trying to not hurt his little brother, Arkham came out of nowhere to steal Virgil's hard-earned power. As you know, cheaters never win, so he became a demonic slime. And when was the last time you heard a jelly defeating a human? After defeating the blob, Dante tried to steal their father's heritage and as the older brother, Virgil finally decided to teach him some manners and give him a spank. Just as gonna spank you, but, spank you on the but Dante cheated by bringing a rocket launcher to a sword fight. In the end, he defeated our poor Virgil and even tried to kill him. So Virgil had no choice but to throw himself into hell. Dante went back to his shitty life in his brothel while Virgil's name would be remembered as a true hero. What's up everyone, Old Soul here and this is my second what if we were the bad guys video. You can watch episode 1 from up here and if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what game should I do next. Don't ever forget. Be safe friend, don't you dare go alone. Not very classy for someone's dying words.